All right, everybody. First ever timed game making challenge starts now. Okay, but actually, before the time even started, I began by creating a Trello board of everything that I was hoping to. Oh, uh, uh, don't don't look at that. Don't. Um, okay, so obviously I wanted to create all the movement and platforms, shooting, and enemies, and then I was hoping to make at least one power-up alternate platform and anything else that I could get to. And no, this doesn't count for time, okay? We're playing by Danny's rules here. If you're gonna steal a man's idea, you have to play by his rules, okay? That's, that's what I always say. I booted up a new Unity project and it was time. So two hours to make Doodle Jump 3D, and the timer starts- Wait, wait. Uh, I need coffee. I need- Oh! Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> everybody knows you can't code without a hot cup of coffee, right? So, so yeah, I got some coffee, and then I sat down, and I was ready to go. So, I only had two hours to make Doodle Jump, and the timer- Wait, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Um, that's, that's embarrassing. I, I probably should have done that earlier, I think. If you want to make a video game, but don't know where to start, this video should help on your- Okay, finally, two hours, and the timer starts- Wait, wait. Jasper. Huh? I gotta go to her bone. No, you sit down! <sighs> Alright, um, so two hours okay. to make Doodle Jump 3D and the timer starts now. Okay, so to be honest, the first thing I did was copy over the movement from one of my last games. <laughs> no, uh, this is not cheating. Danny probably did this in one of his videos. Uh,. Probably. So I made sure it worked and then I had to do a quick experiment. I wasn't sure if the ground check would work with a trigger collider. I needed it to work so that you could jump up through the platforms like you can in the game. Luckily, it did. So I quickly made a simple platform like you see in the game. Now it gets complicated. See, the thing in endless runners like Doodle Jump is uh, there's actually a lot of trickery going on. What do I mean? Well, while it looks like you're jumping hundreds of meters up into the sky, it's actually usually the world that's moving around you. I made the platforms with a positive gravity so that they'd fall up. <laughs> I know this is getting confusing. The player basically tells the platforms when to jump, and that's when they all jump down. It took a lot longer than I was hoping to get the physics right, but it finally looked like I wanted it to. Now I added the death boundary. For this, I was able to reuse the platform script for the jumping motion and added a new script to keep it in the bounds. So while the platforms keep going down and disappear, this one hits an invisible wall when it gets low enough. enough, enough, enough. Yup, you read that right. 40 minutes were already gone, and I think my face tells you exactly how I was feeling at this moment. So I got started with spawning new platforms. So I wrote a new script to spawn a new platform when the last platform is already about two and a half units down. And every time it spawns a platform, that distance increases. So as the platforms spawn, they'll get farther and farther apart. And yeah, because I wrote it, you already know it worked perfectly. Okay, I had to make the platform's velocity match all of the other platform's velocities when it spawned in. So I fixed the issue with the new platforms floating up, but there's still way too many. And I realized it was because the distance check that I was doing was factoring in all dimensions. So I made it only check the y-axis, and then... Now I wanted to sort of finish up the game loop. I made it so that when you die, the body just falls into eternity. And you have this option to restart the game. So now I could actually like play the game. I was sweating at this point. But at least the core gameplay was out of the way. So I got started building an enemy. And with 46 minutes left, you're joking if you thought I was going to open up Blender. Nope, I just built one of the best wormy fly guys I've ever seen right in the Unity editor. I gave him a 5% chance of spawning on any platform, and I made it so that when your head touches him, you die. And if you land on him, you jump, just like any other platform. Now I was feeling confident enough to build the Doodle Jump character. With just a half hour left, I modeled like the wind, and created one of the best 3D models that I've ever made. Honestly, I think this thing just says it all about the type of game dev I really am. And look, if I see anybody in the comments saying anything inappropriate about this little doodle jump guy's nose, banned instantly, okay? It's just a nose. Let's, let's all be adults here. I made the nose shoot like in the game, so now you can actually kill those nasty, wormy, fly-looking guys. I fixed all these bugs, and I added in some post-processing. And then I looked at the time, and my heart sank. 
With only three minutes left, I had a huge problem. The enemies had no animation and no sound, and it was terrible because you couldn't even hear them when they were above you. I quickly opened a sound recorder on my computer because I didn't have time to browse the internet for a sound effect, sound but I had a serious problem. Um... You just need to record, come on. The app was configured to work with my microphone, Frick. which was not set up. Frick. Um... What sounds do I have? So I hopped into File Explorer to see if I literally had any sounds downloaded. What sounds do I have? And right at the top was the Discord notification sound effect that I used in my last video. Okay. That works. <laughs> I added Discord notification to the audio source on the enemy and tried to configure the 3D spatial audio. And it worked. So I jumped into the animation builder window and I gave the enemy a bit of a float up and down animation. I didn't even have time to see if this animation was working. I spent my last 30 seconds trying to fix the audio to make it work better in the 3D space. And then... It's gonna sound so bad. Okay. Dude, <laughs> the audio is gonna sound so whack. All right, I'm literally just gonna do a build and run. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. Okay, I hear it. Where's the enemy, bro? I mean, the sounds are working, that's good. There he is. Let's go. Let's go, it's working, dude. What the frick, it actually works. Okay, hold up. I can hear another one. I can hear him, I can hear him. Dude, I'm so glad I added in that audio, actually. It'd be impossible to know where these guys are. Okay, got him. That sucker. Okay, let's see how far I can go. I really wish I added in the, like, distance thing, because I have no idea how, how far I'm going. It's kind of, doesn't make any sense. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so I made it, but I kind of suck at it. I mean... <laughs> I mean, did I do it? So, I mean, there's a couple things that I didn't get to, but I'm actually so happy with what I got. You guys will have to let me know. Here's some more gameplay.